everyone and welcome back to Rain's Arts. So I have a 60 by 30 canvas here. I have my push pins in the back and I'm going to attempt today to do a um, split canvas and a blowout. So this was inspired actually by watching a video by Dilly Cube. So the first colour I'm going to use is this nice pink colour. So this is just white with um, some of this fluoro pink in it. And just a little bit of that. And I have my little sponge brush that I'm going to paint this over. Oh, this is quite a transparent colour. Never mind. As they say, it's just paint and if I make a disaster then that's fine. I'll just scrape it and do it again. So how is everyone going? It's supposed to be spring here, but today it's actually really cold and overcast and forecast for rain. So spring is funny weather. I might make that a bit more over there like that. That's better. Because I kinda like this pink. And these paints are mixed with um, Elmer's glue and water. I thought I'd give that a try. Just paint the edges while I'm at it. It's a pretty pink colour. I like that. Just stick that in there. And the colour that I'm going to use on top is this colour, which is grey, which is actually I made by just adding a little tiny bit of black to white. There's so many hairs on this. This is what happens when you have pets. You just get hair everywhere. Always have light pink and grey together. So let's see how it goes. This is a this one is a bit thicker than the pink, which is strange because I tested them and they're all the same. So, maybe the pink, well, no, the pink's not a translucent colour, so it shouldn't be thinner, but I guess <clears throat> that's what happens. And if you hear Lots of sniffing and stuff. It's still hay fever. I hate hay fever season. So I might have to um, edit this out in places if I have to go and blow my nose.
rather than just snorting all the time because that's a bit disgusting. Okay, I'll just pop those in there in case I need them again. Uh, so this is the um, fluorescent pink that I've mixed with the white. So I'm just going to do a line in between here. over there and this color is an Amsterdam paint the other one was a global this is an Amsterdam one and it's called um, quinacrochrome Quinacra, I don't know how to pronounce that rose Of air bubbles in here, which she shouldn't have because it's been sitting for a while. This is also a um, Liquidex Basics called Light Pink. I'm going to put that on the top like that. And I'm going to put some of this colour, which is actually my favourite colour at the moment, I have to admit. And this is Dioxazine Purple mixed just with Aussie Flow Troll. Because I do want to try and get a few cells when I um, blow this out. Give it a pop of colour. And I thought I'd put a bit of yellow in there. So this is called Yellow Flower. It's a global paint. I don't know how the yellow is going to work, but hey, I just felt like putting some yellow in here. Why not? putting these paints out of the way and then I'm going to put a bit of white with Aussie Flow Troll in it and a tiny bit of black too some Aussie flow troll just like that and my last colour is this one which is a metallic lavender which is also a global paint rows of that because I like purple <clears throat> okay so there's a lot of air bubbles in this so I'm gonna just pop some of these that's saying A lump, so we'll just take that out of there and another hair, dog hair, and cat hair everywhere. Okay, so move all 
these out of the way. And let's see what we can come up with. So I've got my trusty hairdryer. looking very pretty this up here so I'm just going to turn this around and try and blow some of this out with a straw just a little straw I mustn't have put as much paint in this section as I did on the ends. Okay. So I'm going to do a few little this few bits here because I can't have another go at trying to blow that out but to another straw. Was better. The other straw must have been blocked. <clears throat> so I'll put it in there to wash. That's better. Oops. I know I tip my paint over. Okay, I'm liking this a lot. Um, I might put before I do wispy bits, just needs a bit more paint on this edge. Let's do a few wispy bits like that. I've definitely got more paint <clears throat> on the ends than I did in the middle. I don't know how I'll manage that. Right, you get that. That 
anything that fills up with paint. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. All right, so I will take my gloves off and bring you down for a closer view. So here we are. So we've got some really nice lacing up there. And the pinks and the yellow. We, I did get a bit of green, but that's okay. I know I would. Nice lacing here. Oh, so I should slow down and give you a headache if I go too fast. And I really like how those colours go together. Yeah. And that was the um, puddle of paint there that I was dipping my skewer in to fill in those holes. So yeah guys, that's it. I will come back later when it's dried and show you the finished result. Until then, take care of yourself and your family and thank you for watching. Hi everyone and this is the dried painting. So it's been drying for about four or five days now. So let's go in and have a closer look. So I did get some cracking along there but I'm thinking that it's the Elmer's glue that I used because when I cleaned out my paint pots instead of being nice and rubbery like my normal pouring medium would be it was quite crackly so I'm thinking it's the glue that caused some of this crazing and cracking in here like there but overall I really like it. I like the colours. We've got some um, nice lacing down here. And I really like how the grey goes into the pink. Although you can't really see it on camera, but it is a very sort of baby pink colour. And got some nice lacing here. And those pops of fluorescent green are really nice. Yeah, so there we go. So thanks everyone for tuning in. Until the next time, take care of yourself and your family. And um, I'll catch you later. Bye for now.